one. So patch 7.1 dropped and I'm in my class hall. I thought that I would take you around and explain to you some of the decisions I'm making with um, some of these NPCs and the choices of abilities and buffs that I'm going to get to use. So first I'm going to go over here and start with Sister Eldra. So Sister Eldra, Keeper of the Ancient Tomes. So this is Artifact Research Notes. What this does is for 500 resources per um, artifact research notes and you can have up to two of them going at one time but only one gets done at a time you are able to get a research done that will increase the amount of artifact power you are rewarded on quests and dungeons and such like that so I've been doing this ever since um, like Legion began and I got down to uh, my class hall and just to give you an idea of what this is, so up here in the upper left uh, my, of my artifact weapon, there's this 27 here. And silver hand, total ranks purchased, 27. Okay, so if you go down to the next white text, it says artifact knowledge level is level 10. Increase artifact power gains by 850%. So we're just going to keep her running and keep her uh, full of artifact notes that she's got to be uh, creating for me. And currently I have two of them going. One of them is going to be available in the next two hours and 27 minutes. And my understanding is as you get more and more artifact knowledge, that amount of bonuses you get goes up. So to kind of give you an idea, I don't know where you are in terms of how much artifact power items dungeons and everything are rewarding for you but let's see yeah here's a good example so I'm up to 10 and right now when I complete this this world quest I will get an item on my bag that will grant 4425 artifact power to whatever my currently equipped artifact weapon is so definitely this is a benefit this is something you gotta keep rolling I thought somebody mentioned, I thought I read somewhere that you can get, you can uh, level up to uh, 30 levels, but that could be cor incorrect. So, let's move on to this night. This is Sir Almond Gray Greythorn. So, he does order advancement. You pick an ability, a one of two choices, to grant you a buff or an NPC within your class hall. And you get to do one of these columns, no, one of these rows at a time. So the first one is Light's Favor. Increase the chance for quest rewards to get rare epic bonus upgrade from non-repeatable quest. Or enables a blessing of the king's ability which increases the success chance of your first mission. You send each day by 20%. I find that I don't have any problems with missions being successful. So I chose Light's Favor. For a chance to get rare epic upgrade from non-repeatable quests which is cool and for those of you who are not in the paladin class hall this may be a slightly different uh, item here i've seen i have a boomkin and a death knight and i can't remember what their order advancement is but it's not the same on every one of these rows so you're just going to have to take a look at those next rose is righteous blessing enables the righteous blessing ability for all missions which increases success chance of missions with spells by 10 percent and then uh, a argent steed grants access to argent charger hitching post once daily allowing to summon a charger which allows you to perform mounted combat for a short duration i just thought that yeah even though i just said i don't have any problems with missions completing successfully that I thought that well righteous blessing gives me a chance of getting the bonus loot item from my um, my challengers or yeah challengers followers daily missions it was more important than the arch and steep post I didn't I didn't care so in the next row I got plowshares to swords allows to place work orders for champion ornaments or equipment in exchange for work order resources or Argent Call. Increase the maximum number of squire, shield bearers, knights, and templar you can recruit by one. So when you get this one, once this is uh, completed learning this, this should um, put an NPC in your class hall 
that allows you to create orders for armaments and equipment exchange for that gold. So basically armament could be anywhere from something like this hasty pocket watch. It's it's basically you're either going to get the, it's champion buffs. So either you're going to get champion equipment like this hasty pocket watch or maybe swift boots. Um, yeah, a library of enlightenment. It may not be these exact ones. It might be something uh, more specific to something else. Uh, some of this stuff is stuff that you're going to find when you're out there in the world, but I just thought I'd show you what champion ornaments like, that I have so far in my bag. Let's see, is this one? Yeah. Yeah, okay, so that, that one probably gets burned off after you use it. But there's also a chance to get these armor sets. So this is what you're going to use to level up. If you remember your garrison and warlords of Draenor, your champions or your followers start out at a set item level and in order to get them uh, you have to level them up to a point where uh, you can hit their max level so they can do max level dungeons and get you uh, raid um, items that you can you know either raid rewards where you get a specific item or here you didn't get as much raid rewards as you get like a quest that will reward you if you go out and you complete the raid so you're not going to just get the raid item anymore you're going to get a quest which will reward you for killing a boss in a raid so I chose plowshares to source just because I can get the NPC up who allows me to get these uh, orders for champion armaments so I can buff them up and get them up to max level so I can get the max level um, champion missions all right, so we're down to Templar, the Silver Hand, newly recruited Silver Hand Knights become Silver Hand Templars, which gain Guardian of the Kings, increases the success chance of missions by twenty by fifteen percent when accompanied by squires or shield bearers. Or newly recruited swords, squads of squires become shield bearing phalanx, increasing their chance of mission success by five percent. So. I wasn't really sure which one was the better one. It's just 15% sounds better than five. So I chose this one. I'm sorry. This is kind of just a dumb, don't really know which one is better. Just went with that. And then finally on this last one. So, or not the last one, but the second last. So Grand Crusade allows you to place work orders for silver hand orders used to unleash the vanguard of the silver hand to instantly complete non-elite world quests on your map once every 18 hours and that summons an NPC to your class all or you can do holy purpose it allows you to place work orders for one of uh, three of your uh, seal a broken fate in exchange for order resources so this is kind of a tough one it all depends but to me I know that when I go out and I do my world quests, there's some that I'm not gonna do for example I don't do pet battles and I don't do PvP, but I'll do pretty much everything else. Um, I chose this one just because I like the idea that ev that once every 18 hours, I can um, pick a world quest that is non-elite and just get it done and end up in my bag. And I can do like the um, I can like pick PvP, a PvP world quest that can be done, or a um, pet battle quest that can be done that rewards something that's in, that's important to me whereas the rest of the quests I don't have any problem with doing that and as for this I have like seven or eighty seven thousand gold yeah there's that's not a lot the lots of people have more gold than that but I I don't have a problem with spending gold or resources to just buy those seals of broken fate and not only that but there's gonna come a time when we've cleared everything and I'm going to be like max level seals of broken fate in my bag and I'm not going to have the main thing to spend on because I will have like killed everything while we're waiting for the next raid patch and then I will be able to start using those on you know chance to get a reward item from a boss that we kill in a raid so this one just says to me it screams do me do me do me do me all right yeah and the Legends of the Righteous increase the number of legendary items you can equip by one. How many legendary items do I have? What do you think? What does that look like? 
I don't have any, none whatsoever. So yeah, these are all very expensive. It says 500, then it goes up to 2,000, 2,000 again, 2,000 again, 2,000, and then this final one was quite a bit more. No, actually, this is more than 2,000. What are you talking about? Yeah, uh, getting these tossed a lot more. I think this one's 15,000 resources, and this one I think was 12. Yeah, ignore that cost. I think that's for something else. I think I was being kind of dumb there. Um, kind of dumb. All right, over here, Grand Challenger's Bounty. So if you're into Mythic Plus Dungeons, this is at the beginning of the new uh, raid cycle, which is Tuesday, or yeah, the Blizzard's raids, or weekly raid cycle, dungeon cycle, just patch cycle. So every Tuesday when uh, the servers, well, not the servers necessarily reset, but all the weekly rewards and everything reset, if you do a Mystic, Mythic Plus dungeon, this is where you're going to go to get an item that you can uh, get for completing Mythic Plus dungeons. And my most recent reward was this, Absorb Raven Quest Brooch, uh, Mythic 7 Titan Forged 870. I had completed a Mythic 7 and this was my reward and I like that so good all right over here so we got some we got some cha our champions here this guy's really cool I wonder what's going to be the deal with him in future patches maybe someday this guy well he's a freaking you know he's, he's a deny or eridar they're both the same difference I don't know it's kind of cool and uh, here's my board Okay, so my class hall followers, my champions. So the max level they can go up to is 850. And given that the fact it takes forever like to get these armor sets, uh, there's always a chance that you will get a quest that will reward an armor set. So currently I don't have armor sets. I have champion equipment, but no armor equipment equipment here up on my board which is another reason why I picked the ability back there with uh, Sir Almanti Graython for the class hall upgrades you know order advancement is to choose to get the guy and his name is Kristoff and does armaments uh, requisition or at least in the paladin class order hall um, so yeah, it takes a while to get these and you'll get them a lot more even though you will get these champions equipment from Kristoff. Uh, We're going to go see him in just a moment. So the maximum level you can level these guys up to right now is 850. It takes a very long time to get stuff done. So you're wondering, okay, what are my choices here for equipment slots? So I got kind of split between uh, buffs for increased success, success, increased success chance on missions shorter than four hours to increase success chance on missions longer than eight hours so that's the first slot that I'm kind of looking at and what I ex what I see here is look at the length of the quests here um, I got a six hours got 8 10 16 18 one day so more often than not I think these sturdy hiking boots are going to be very valuable and maybe something you want to put on all your uh, champions. But I keep these here just in case I get a short quest and I have an opportunity to use this guy. And then the second equipment slot, just grant hall, uh, order hall resources when completing world quests. And it's combat alley, so if I put this guy into as a combat alley that you can follow me around and help me do stuff I can get extra rewards but I don't I'm not interested in carrying them around reduces mission duration by 5% so that might help get a mission be below four hours to get a bonus to chance of completing on time we got increased chance of success of missions by 10% uh, and that's just flat just flat 10% it's not a specific type you know uh, increases success chance of missions by 20% when accomplished accompanied by squads of squires or shield bearer phalanx okay and those are troops right here you see and then finally uh, increased success chance of missions by 10% when accompanied by squads of squires or shield bearer phalanx 
So I got that all done, taken care of. I have all eight, all eight of the followers that right now paladins can have. These guys are kind of sitting on the bench. I don't know if I'm ever going to put them in the game and try to level them up. Uh, as far as I can see, basically they have their their buffs are really no different. I mean, you got consecration there. Okay, I already got one consecration, two consecration. Yeah, I've already got that covered. Here we got a rebuke. I think I have one rebuke. Yep. I think she's my only rebuke, so she handles that. And then he does another rebuke. I mean, who knows what... Oh, yeah, Divine Steed. <laughs> Zeal. Okay, so... Anyway, I've already got these guys up, and in my opinion, there's just no reason to waste any time trying to level these guys up, because when a mission comes out that I want to do... Well, I mean, this is taking forever. It's taking me a month to get one of, the, or to get all my guys up to uh, this max level 850. I mean, for in Warlords of Draenor with the right characters, and I think Indiana Jones had the buff that would increase, uh, or, or what would he do? He would uh, make your follower the max level or equal to uh, his level. So you could take somebody who just got those level 90 and they would be like 100 and have max level uh, item level so they could do these uh, huge experience reward uh, missions. But right now that's just not the case anymore. So these guys are all going to take a month. Anyway, that's enough of that. Let's go take a look at some of these NPCs that I got down here. At least the two big ones. Alright, so over here... Commander and Sela. She does my uh, squad of squires. So those are the assistant. I'm going to pass Kristoff here for a second to show you some more. Over here is Commander Born, and he does Silverhand Templars. Um, I got like four of them going, but you know, I'm just going to throw that in there and get one started. It takes 30 minutes to get going. Okay, so this is Kristoff, Armaments Re Requisitioner. This is the guy selected for order advancement. So it doesn't cost a lot. You get four or four work orders. So that's like 200 order resources to get four work orders going. They don't get all done at the same time. It seems to be, what was it, like a 20, 24 hour uh, period of time that it takes for one of them to get done. And then the next one comes after that. And this is where you're going to get your champion ornaments. Stuff like maybe hasty pocket, watch swift boots, um, you know, um, library enlightenment, and any others that I'm not thinking of or maybe haven't discovered quite yet. As well as you get these armor sets. And that's very important because you're not going to be able to get your uh, champions up to max level where they can do max level dungeons. Like, here, I'm going to show you real quick. I just bought just just thought of it forgot to point it out so you're wondering about well what do we do for raids all right so there's a mission out there facing our fears so oh we can't we can't click into it so I can show you all right so this is facing our fears I think you get it I don't know how many times a week you get it. I think just once a week so corrupted egg fragment so once that is done, and it'll be done after our raid is done tonight, it's going to reward a quest item, which will give me a quest to kill a certain raid boss. And you see it's only 830. So I've already got my followers, any of my followers already got this thing covered already. I mean, this I got a 110% chance. Uh, yeah, no, no, 100, 185% chance of completing this mission. So, yeah, that's... Uh, it's not max level 850. There are 850 quests, but you're gonna definitely need somebody like Kristoff who does your uh, your ornaments. All right, we're gonna run down here. I have yet to figure out where the heck in the world they they've buried. Um, uh, oh no, now I can't remember his name. I'm so that's so stupid. Okay, so I'm gonna change. Here's Tarek, the Illuminator. What All right, so this you? guy's your, this guy is your silver hand orders. This again is one of those order advancement abilities that you can pick, and you get. Uh, it takes about ten minutes to get one of these silver hand orders done. Actually, I have one that's done right now, waiting to be picked up. 
but you can only have one of them on you at a time. And if you have one sitting in your bag like this one, well, you're not going to be able to grab this one. What I've seen when I've accidentally come down here and try to grab this is sometimes it'll get sent to like your mail because it can't be put in. You're only allowed to carry one at a time or this will just sit here and you won't be able to do anything with it right now. So the order resources is very cheap. It's a, only a hundred order resources. You just make one of them and then every 18 hours you get to complete See one non-elite quest, uh, world quest. So let's go. I'm going to click M on my keyboard to get up the map and quest. Eastern King of Azeroth. Okay, breadcrumb. Broken Isles. So out here, what we're going to have down this corner, because we selected this uh, NPC or this ability in our um, order advancement, is we get Vanguard of the Silver Hand. For you, it's going to be called some, probably be called something else. So an instant. 18 hour cooldown region silver hand orders and that's right there so what it does is order the vanguard of the silver hand to instantly complete a world quest on your map and these are my order of the silver hand guys who are going to go out and do stuff so here's the map so if you're wondering okay what is an elite what can this finish complete for me insta insta complete world quest and what can it so this is an example of an elite quest. This one cannot be completed. This is a dungeon. This cannot be completed. Here's another one. This is an elite quest. You're killing uh, elite uh, mob. That one cannot be completed. Although I'm going to definitely go out there and kill this guy because I want that artifact power. I need it. Man, my, I, my artifact power is just so, so high. Because I'm like my next rank of artifact power or rank on my artifact weapons is like 250, 240, 250,000 artifact power to get it. All right, so this is one, I I don't know if this qualifies for elite. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. But we can certainly do this one. We can complete this if we want like almost 100 gold. We can complete this one. You say, oh, you want that one. Artifact power to, uh, yeah, your currently equipped artifact I can save myself the time of having to grind this quest out and the cool thing is um, if you complete an artifact quest or are not artifact, a world quest down here if you have these emissary quests active when you complete it when you use this to complete it it will tick off one of these checks as being done so it does count toward your emissary quest which is really cool but here is where I would give you my advice. My advice is when it comes to this, if you selected these, uh, these, um, well, whatever it is called. In my hand, it's called Silver Hand Orders. It might be called something else in your class hall. But in order to get this done, I'm going to pick the ones that I'm not going to do that reward artifact power because that's very important to me. I'm all about artifact power. I'm all about maxing out my artifact weapon. So I don't do PvP as I said and I don't do pet battles. So I'm going to take a look at these and see what they reward. Alright, pet charm, no, don't care. Uh, this one is for my profession, uh, no, I don't even know if it can complete that one so I don't care. Oh look at that, look at that, 2375 artifact power, sometimes the PvP quest uh, world quests reward artifact power and sometimes the pet battles reward artifact power so yeah I can I could definitely do that and you, if you read at the top of the tooltip it says warden tower assault whisper wind citadel vala valajar so this counts toward the valajar emissary quest and let's see warden's dreamwalkers valajar right there so right there, this technically, if I use this to complete this, this will get one check marked off as being done. And I will only have to do three more in this area. So this one looks like it's um, one I'm definitely going to do. It's definitely not an elite quest, but we're going to move on. And I'm going to ignore these, even though it's 2,000 artifact. Um, okay, order resources. I mean, order resources. I could always do one if 
it has lots of order resources. Down here, we got PvP, uh, order resources, and honor. I don't care about honor. Ooh, 2,375. Okay, so those both are at the same amount. So either one of those would do. Yeah, I don't see any. Oh, pet battle. All right, pet battle bandage. And then we'll go down here. PvP, honor, bleh, don't care. Uh, that's just slab of bacon. <laughs> no, not going to waste it for that. And then down here, nothing, nothing new, nothing else. I could, if I wanted to, pick one of these and have it instant done so I don't have to do it, which would be nice. Oh, Siramar, yeah, forgot this, almost forgot this. So I don't see any pet battles or PvP stuff here that I could do. I mean, I could do this for order resources. Um, yeah, can't do that. Could do that when 2175. Ooh, I wonder if that could be completed. Interesting. I, I'm not sure. Ooh, one day at a time. That must be 7.1. All right, so I'm going to get this one done. So I have Valajara up here on my board for an emissary quest. So I would definitely do that one. Let's go up to this one in High Mountain really quick. So here's one in High Mountain. And, it, and if you look here, I only have Valajara up, Dreamweavers, and Wardens up. Oh, this is kind of cool because it never did that before. It never took you to the area. You were always, whatever area you were looking at, you could click on this and it would just show highlight if there was anything in that zone it never took you right to the new zone so apparently 7.1 did some interesting things there for our maps so anyway you say well could you do this one i could do it but there are no high mountain emissary quests so chances i'm going to go out here and do these um like yeah i don't care about that reward Order resources, I'm not so hard up on order resources. Crafting reagent, nah. That, all my items are way higher than that. But here Valajar is. This is what I'm going to do and complete. I'm going to go out here and I'm going to do as many of these ones that can reward me. Well, I guess I have no choice. I get one of artifact power and then I have to do two others that are order resources. So, oh well. You always need order resources. So the way we're going to finish this off, we're going to click on this. You see the items that are highlighted. Ooh, this is a learning experience. This is a opportunity to learn, for me to learn. Let's click this and see what highlights. All right. Well, we just learned something. This can be completed. This is not considered an elite quest, even though it's highlighted in blue. Only this is an elite quest. Okay, I'm going to click off that. Go down to Suramar. No, wait, you clicked the wrong thing. All right, yep, lots of things can get done. Can't do the one in the instance. Valajar, oops, he's over here. Okay, so those are all the ones that can get done. And uh, Zuna, click on that. There you go. There you go, yep. You click on it, and it'll show you what ones can be completed so you know. All right, so I'm going back out to Stormheim, clicking, mousing over. Clicking, bam! I just got this in my bag, and I got a little extra. Plus, I think that gives me a little honor. So, if ever in the future I want to do PvP, now what else? It also helps to open up PvP talents. Where is it? Where is it? Is that M? Honor talents? Yeah. Yeah, you get honored from doing stuff like that. Like, I haven't done any PvP, and I've opened up all these uh, passive abilities for PvP, which I will never, ever, 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 ever play. Okay, so I'm going to click it. Now I got it. Can I help you? Let's start out another one. Bam. Be right? done in, in about 10 minutes. And 18 hours from now, I'm going to be able to do complete another quest. Yeah, I don't know where Tyrion Fordring. That's who I was trying to say. I have no idea where Tyrion Fordring is buried out here. And I don't know if I'm geeky enough to go try and figure out where the heck he is. Anyway. All right, there. 
Altar of Ancient Kings, this is where I do my artifact weapon and everything like that. Yeah, so artifact power is it. This is part of the game that I want to do. Really important for me. Long, 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 long way to go. Alright, so I don't think there's really very much more to show you or talk to you about. I think we covered pretty much everything I wanted to say. Sorry, the video is a little bit long, but I don't think there's anywhere to get... Uh, sorry, 5,000. I only play with 6,000. Um, yeah, there's just... Ooh. Ooh, are you 6,000? Oh, 4,000! You're even worse! Be gone. Alright, so that's it for my video. Sorry it got a little bit long, but there's a lot of stuff to talk about, a lot of stuff to show you. I hope this makes the game a little bit easier for you to do, and uh, later dudes.